hi friends welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this trending china curry fried rice that is perfect for the holiday season this curry fried rice is also perfect for the weekend or little get together or even big, big get together this yummy fried rice can be stored in the fridge for up to seven to eight days without going bad this recipe is no is the one you do not want to miss our popular fab touch even tasted this rice and gave it double thumbs up can you see that <laughs> so guys let's just get into the recipe the first ingredient is rice some fresh carrots also few cloves of garlic some shrimps then curry powder then onions you can use white onions or any onions you want also some spring onions some salt green bell peppers as well then you need ginger then you need bouillon cubes of your choice eggs and vegetable oil the next step now is to i thoroughly washed these spring onions before chopping ensure to wash your spring onions before chopping if you don't do this you would start getting eating sand in your spring onions and that will be nice so after cutting that i went ahead and peeled the skin of my carrots using this pillar if you do not own this pillar you can use a knife so i'm then going to go ahead and use this chopper to chop my carrots instead of going through the process of using the knife and cutting into tiny bits and then this just chopped it chops my onions my carrot onions and so on and so forth in a matter of seconds that's it so i'm going to do the same for my onions as well just cut your onions in half push it down the size of the hole you want and then it gives you a perfectly shaped a perfectly chopped onions i did the same this is the spring onions this is the onions itself i used the chopper then i did the same thing for the green bell peppers this is the green bell peppers i used that chopper as well i'm going to take about half bulb of garlic this should contain four to five cloves depending on how big your garlic is then i'm going to use about a thumb about a thumb of ginger i usually do not peel the skin of my ginger just ensure you wash it clean okay so then this is the grater i'm going to use i'm then going to go ahead after washing my garlic i'm going with ginger and garlic i'm going to go ahead and start spraying so the first one i'm doing right now is the ginger so you grate your ginger if you then the next one now is garlic the garlic if you want to go ahead and blend them both it's totally fine but you need water to blend and i don't want to water in my paste so this is the final result mixture of ginger and garlic so the next step is to add about a tablespoon of of curry then i added one bouillon cube so then a pinch of salt not so much please then i added water and then i created a paste you start modeling up until you have a good paste okay until you have modeled every dry part every dry part of that mixture up so please do not miss this step this is very step is very very important and do not over salt this paste do not over salt do not add too much bouillon cubes okay So when you are done this is what it should look like now let's start cooking eat up some vegetable oil and then add your chopped onions then you saute for about 10 seconds or until you start perceiving the aroma now you are going to add four fresh eggs into the vegetable oil oil and onions then you're going to stir fry until for about 20 seconds or until it goes from this to this so then when you get this you add your carrots your chopped carrot and then you stir fry again 
you stir fry for a while for about 20 to 30 seconds and then you start adding your cooked rice you can use basmati rice you can use any rice of your choice just ensure the rice is properly done okay we are going to we are using properly done rice for this recipe not pre-cooked or uh parboiled rice now after adding your rice and you stir you stir the carrots onions and um, oil into the rice then you are going to add the green bell peppers and saute until the pepper circulates and then you do the same thing for the sweet corn now this is the paste we created earlier the ginger garlic paste uh mixture of ginger garlic bouillon cubes uh salt and um, a bit of water and then you add just add it to the rice and then you stir you give it a good stir. you saute well until the paste gets to every nook and cranny of the rice okay so while doing this ensure to reduce the heat on your cooker okay you do not want your rice to, to start burning while doing this now i added shrimps i have boiled and you know fairly fried these shrimps then you saute it well you stir it well into the mixture of everything you know <laughs> now i added my spring onions i didn't know the camera wasn't recording at that point added my spring onions and i'm going to add it while doing all this why adding all these ingredients ensure to reduce the heat on your cooker okay reduce it to the barest minimum you do not want your rice to start burning So now that is basically it and our fried rice is ready we are going to serve it in a jiffy and that's it your fried rice is ready that's it <laughs> so trust me this fried rice tastes so good so so good tastes so good so this is easy fast you can make this in a matter of 30 to 40 minutes if your ingredients are ready and that's basically it Thank you so much for watching guys. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share this video and also check the channel. We have many, many, many educative videos on the channel for you to watch. Okay. And that's it. See you in my next video. You can also check the screen. We have a link to the next video on the channel. Bye for now.